I am delighted today to be talking to Marcelo Tass, who is an actor, television host, the host of Monday Talk, and an expert, a journalist, and an expert on many things Brazilian. Thank you so much for, for being with us. My pleasure. So your show, Monday Talk, is based in Rio de Janeiro, but you live here in Sao Paulo. Yeah. Help us understand what you see as being the most important differences between the two cities. <sighs> there are two planets, you know, very, very different, and so close. So f for me, it's a, a challenge, because when you commute, my commute is a 40-minute flight, you have to change your ship. <laughs> Very different in all senses, you know, weather, people, the way you relate to, to anything, traffic, everything. Rio, very abstract way of communicate. What you say is not exactly what you say. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about traffic lights. So the red sign is not real red. <laughs> 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 when you take a cab, you suddenly find somebody who feels very intimate. Mm -hmm. He opens your life. The driver. The dri the driver. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. You know, I, see, I think we can make uh, several shows inside the traffic cab in Rio. You know, <laughs> São Paulo is the opposite. I mean, people very straight. Pe I mean, I'm talking of course, general, of course, of course. But in Rio, you have a very different mindset related to São Paulo. São Paulo uh, is a very cosmopolitan city with people from all over Brazil. It's mm -hmm. the largest city in any, let's say, culture, Brazilian culture, mm -hmm. Northeast or South, Italians, mm -hmm. Germans, uh, Japanese, Greeks, yeah. Japanese, a million and a half Japanese yeah. in Sao Paulo. <laughs> so it's, it's much more diverse. And Rio has a very strong culture and very strong uh, habits, you know, ways of, you have, you have to learn and you have to, each city, in my, in my opinion, you have to surf, you have to be a surfer, you know, you have to take the wave, you have to respect the local culture. What are the things you like most about Sao Paulo and what are the things you like least about Sao Paulo? Things that I like most is people, mm -hmm. work, high quality of work. Uh, I like uh, the way that people wants to make things. I mean, Sao Paulo is a very, as I said, very challenged city, right. so very ugly city mm -hmm. sometimes. We have to face it mm -hmm. very ugly. So we have to make it, mm -hmm. you know, it's not ready. We have to make it. Rio is the opposite. It's so beautiful. You have, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a kind of opposite that I like, you know, I, I love, contemplation in Rio, I love, you know, meet people in Rio, but I like to make things here in Sao Paulo. <laughs> right, and what would you change about Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo sidewalks, it's a, it's a shame, mm -hmm. a city that has so poor sidewalks. I mean, there are the public space in Sao Paulo, right. they are very, very weak. We and start walking is such a great way to get around. It's such a great way to experience a city, but it's very hard when the sidewalks don't work. Yes, and they are terrible. They are terrible. And what is amazing is the few south sidewalks in public space that São Paulo starts to take care became a huge success. Mm -hmm. You know, Paulista Avenue, uh, you can name it. You know, the old downtown have time or we don't have impulse you don't have you know uh, so much uh, oriented uh, co uh, commune oriented mind oh let's take care of the city this is very new f for Sao Paulo you know we face you know the most aggressive uh, uh, hur urban uh, explosion in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. São Paulo is, it was a small city and suddenly... 1.4 million in 1940, 3.8 million in 1960, 8.5 million in 1980. All the people that are living right now, we were there facing this growing, you know, 
it's not healthy, you know, when you grow like that. <laughs> so for me now, Sao Paulo is facing a new era, you know. We are starting to, to see that slow down mm -hmm. is not bad when you slow down to, to you know, to, to put quality, to put subtleties, you know, in your, in your day-to-day -day life, you know. What do you think is the biggest mistake Americans make about Brazil? What do you think is the biggest uh, misunderstanding my own fellow countrymen have? Uh, Brazil is a very complex uh, country, and not only Americans, but a lot of people wants to have a the first picture wants to take that and does not uh, have the opportunity to to have the raw picture you mm -hmm. know 360 degrees picture and i understand because when you arrive in brazil you have the first impression which is this tropical paradise and hell and there is no rules but at the same time a lot of people creating a lot of stuff and but in the middle of a, a lot of that, you know, there are so many different things. There is a diversity of experiences, which is very important that you take time to breathe and after that to, to see, you know. In Brazil, we have different cultures, different people, and we have to live that as a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as I said, in Sao Paulo, you have so many cultures at the same time. Why only live in a small part of the city? Why only live with only people that is like you?